Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue PK Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a macro that enters the same thing on every sheet. We're just going to do it with a basic bit of text just to get the idea across. So the first thing you'll need to do is to show the developer tab on your ribbon. Um, it won't show by default, but if you right click on one of the existing tabs and then choose customize the ribbon and just tick developer there, that'll give you a new tab on your ribbon. And then what you've got to do is click on the visual basic button, which will open up the visual basic environment. Now, what I've got is I've got three sheets in this workbook. It would work with any number of sheets, what I'm about to show you. Um, and it's going to enter the same text on each of those sheets, a simple bit of text. Now, the first thing I need to do is create a module in the Visual Basic environment. That's easy. You go up to Insert here, uh, Module. I'll create a module for you, a container for your uh, macros. So what we're going to do is we're going to give the macro a name. I'm going to start with the keyword sub. And I'm just going to create a name for my macro, same text on each sheet. Open close bracket at the end of the name, press enter and you'll see sub goes blue and also get this automatic line in sub. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to declare a variable for my worksheet. So I always do that with the keyword dim and I call my variable WS for worksheet. And I'm going to say that that is going that variable is going to contain information about a worksheet okay so what i'm going to do is start a for each next loop which will loop through each of my worksheets nice and easy to do for each ws the variable we created and that Basically, it's got to go through the collection of worksheets within the current workbook object. So I can reference that with this workbook and the collection it's going to uh, loop through is going to be the worksheets collection within the workbook object. Then I'm going to indent a little bit. I'm going to say um, in cell A1, so I can reference that WS, the name of my variable, the current worksheet that it's got to in the code. In cell A1, I'm going to say something very simple. I'm going to say, uh, welcome to, and then I'm going to say the name of the sheet. So I'm going to use the ampersand character to concatenate welcome to to the name of the sheet so that'll be ws the name of my variable dot dot name that'll be the name of the sheet and i'm using a for each next loop so i can just say next ws and then i'll go on to the next worksheet okay so nice simple text for you there a uh, bit of code for you there so let's see if it actually works if i play it run so if I go to sheet one, welcome to sheet one, sheet two, welcome to sheet two, sheet three, welcome to sheet three. So not particularly useful in terms of what we put in there, but you're, you're obviously watching this video because you have a particular requirement and hopefully that will help you. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.